Hello everyone! Today we are going to cook lemon coconut mousse. The ingredients that we are going to need are 1 can of evaporated coconut milk. They are about 360 milliliters. 1 can of condensed coconut milk and they are about 320 milliliters. 7 grams of unflavored gelatin powder and a quarter of a cup of water three quarters of a cup of lemon juice there are about three or four lemons the first thing that we need to do in order to make this recipe is to put the can of evaporated milk in the fridge for three to four hours Wash the lemons, cut them in two, and with a user, extract the juice from them until you have three quarters of a cup. If the lemons are juicy, four lemons will be enough. If you don't have lemons, you can replace it with orange juice, but you won't feel much acidity in the dessert. If the lemon juice does not fall through the grate, you can help yourself with a spoon to let the juice pass, or you can also discard the pulp that prevents its passage. With a can opener, open the cans of condensed and evaporated milk. Then you will need to hydrate the unflavored gelatin sachet in a quarter of a cup of water for 10 to 15 minutes. After you add the water to the gelatin, Mix it with a fork. Then, beat the evaporated milk for 6 minutes or until it doubles its volume. It must have foam. Immediately after, add the condensed milk and the lemon juice. Heat the hydrated gelatin for 10 to 15 seconds in the microwave and stir with a fork. Incorporate the hydrated gelatin into the previous mixture and beat for at least 5 minutes. Meanwhile we stir the mixture, let's talk about gelatin. Did you know that gelatin is derived from animal bones? So, it isn't vegan. 
One way to replace gelatin is to use agar agar, which comes from algae. Using agar agar is in this recipe is very simple. Once we have the mixture with all the ingredients, we put them in a pot. Add 2 grams of agar agar to the mixture and stir until it begins to boil. Agar agar has more gelling powder than gelatin, so we must add the correct amount. Once the mixture begins to boil, we must continue stirring for 2 more minutes so that the gelatin can be properly integrated into the mixture. It's very important to continue stirring because the temperature should be between 85 and 100 degrees Celsius. And be careful, if you are thinking uh, about adding something colder to the mixture, this will not gel. Put the mixture in a jar and serve in individual bowls. Finally, put the desserts in the fridge and wait at least 2 hours for them to set. To decorate these desserts, you can put round cookies, for example chocolate cookies, or also granola. If you like this recipe, hit the like button below and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.